Hello everyone, my name is Saif, you're watching Rayon Tech TV and in this video we'll be discussing on if you are an experienced person, so whether APN as a technology is good for you or not. So uh, every time I talk to uh, different type of experienced persons and uh, they have a query that whether they want to proceed with APN or not. So I ask them first two questions. Is your academic education technical or non-technical? So if you are from technical background, who is doing a technical job other than dev software development or like there are two types of technical jobs right so uh, like uh, first one is uh, like you are into you have academic background of it and you are doing uh, a job into a software company not software development but other like operations or something else software testing um, exact etc so if you are falling in this category where you hold your technical education for example btech or mca or any other diploma in computing and uh, you have your experience which is into non-coding uh, you have a job experience which is non-coding so i think uh, you can learn apn with the basic uh, learnings uh, using a structured planner uh, there will be a need there will be a need for you to revise the things because whatever you have studied academically a few years back uh, a lot of things has been changed and the approach towards learning uh, APN is quite different as compared to other things because APN alone is not required. Uh, there are prerequisites of APN before starting with APN. So I'll make another video for that. And uh, uh, the answer is like, uh, yes, uh, if you are uh, a non-technical, if you are a technical person who is working in a non-coding job and you have academic background as technology, then you can easily go for APN. You can opt APN and it is an easy transition. No human resource uh, executive or no any other uh, from the human resource department will ask you that why have you moved to APN from this technology? Because technology is your own choice. Uh, you learn something in your free time and uh, you prove it to the recruiter that yes, you are capable for the job and uh, you will get hired because uh, after pandemic nobody is uh, expecting you to be uh, super certified in anything and it's like it's like you should have a skill set and you should have a basic certification and you you are in that's it so the second category of the people falls uh, here is like they are doing their coding job like for suppose someone is who is a uh, .NET developer who is a who is a salesforce developer or who is a XYZ developer in any technology framework or in any programming technology and he holds technical background as a previous experience and he holds academic background also academic education is also BTEC or MCA now he wants to choose the flavor of APN after, as, as his new, uh, new technology so definitely you can go in APN this is uh, like this bucket is for those people like you are already working in a software development role so you know the ins and outs you just need to study apn uh, some basic pre prerequisites as well so after you will get comfortable with the technology then you are then you are good to go and face you are ready to face the interview questions so that's yes uh, apn is made for you as well and uh, the third thing uh, if you are into non-technical academic education you have non-technical ed academic education for example btech mechanical for example mcom for example ba and you want to study apn so that you can ma make a career <coughs> in a so in software industry definitely you can also do that but you have a difficult ladder here because no matter you did a non-technical job no matter you did uh, something else at least uh, the person who have studied academic uh, academically into information technology they have at least four or five years of experience of studying java and other software development technologies so they know the basic idea how things works but for you if you don't know anything uh, you are uh, f like straight out of a non-technical academic education so it is a bit difficult for you yet not impossible and everybody is doing it and yes you can do it also there is a structured plan which you have to follow and uh, if you follow that if you are directly di targeting apn it will be difficult for you because before apn there are a lot of things i tell everybody that before apn there are a lot of things that you need to study in order to work on AP apn efficiently so for those people who are non-technical and they are doing xyz non-technical job for example someone is working as a supervisor in a xyz company someone is working as in as a bank employee 
someone is working as a uh, store manager or someone is working anywhere into a non technical role he is having a non non technical education for example like btech mechanical or whatsoever and he wants to choose apn so i am one repeating once again you can choose apn very easily but it requires a uh, regular consistency dedication and hard work if you are ready to be consistent towards learning and if you are ready to learn all the prerequisites in a structured manner if you are ready to give your hours number of hours per day and uh, it has been said that if you are uh, like uh, dedicatedly dedicatedly doing something then definitely you will be able to at least uh, learn it so it's for all apn is nothing that you are into technology uh, academically then only you will be able to do apn it's not like that anybody can learn apn anybody can do apn it's just that if you are from academically technical background it is easy for you to learn if you are from like a uh, academically non technical background initially you will find things difficult uh, but later on things will make sense once you gear up with time you spend some time on the platform you spend some time on the technology you get a good mentor you are learning from the industry best practices you have your own community account then slowly slowly things will be moving on towards uh, betterment so uh, my recommendation is uh, look out for the topics and the subjects which are required to start before apn in order to learn apn there are topics like you need to know code java at least you need to know basics of software testing you need to know uh, manual testing api testing api development uh, what are the terminologies of api and its management basic database mysql sql server how what is that what are the connection objects like how things are working internally between apn and default partner account apn uh, uh, apn is partnered with mysql as a database language by default and uh, it is enough for you to start with apn if before the before starting with apn you need to also well versed with scripting so if you are good with uh, css scripting or html scripting then you will be able to understand xml as well as xsd xsd is a part of apn it's a topic in apn so if you are uh, well versed with scripting in html and css then you can do that as well so my recommendation is uh, grab an understanding that what are the requirements to learn apn then individually tackle those topics which are required to learn apn integrate all your learning after all the topics are covered then start apn as a technology do the free courses which are provided there once you are well versed with the free courses uh, all do all these things under a proper mentorship or a guidance with someone because if someone is who is already a senior developer and who is mentoring you which that what this is important for you and this is not important for you uh, and you can leave it so a lot of your time will be saved if you uh, if you walk on a unguided path it might take a longer duration to climb a mountain right and if you walk on a guided path that means you are learning from other person failure so you will be achieving things in a shorter duration of time so that's what i am saying that it's okay to have maternity breaks career breaks and it's okay to change careers and it's fine to change technology even if you are from a traditional technology for example power bi sales like salesforce is a cutting edge technology but for example if you are from power bi or sharepoint or any dot net or any other technology where, where you feel that you are not able to contribute to the team and and you are not able to uh, contribute to your own self development so i recommend you to study apn because uh there are other software development platforms also other than apn but either they are too much difficult and too much rigid or they are too much uh, easy too much easy means everything is managed by the tool only you don't have to do anything you don't have you just have to do minimal things you just have to connect the things there is a one category of the softwares and there is another category of the so, like uh, platform software platforms where everything is rigid and difficult and you need to do everything by your own so in both of the cases you will not be able to feel comfortable because uh, in the first case you will not be able to learn anything because everything is managed by the platform itself you will not understand the internal architecture and in the other case everything you have to do so what's the use of using platform as a service 
so that's the thing uh, apn is moderately difficult and if something is moderately difficult then uh, it is okay for you it is good for you because it is good to land up in a job if for a thing which is moderately difficult and uh, and if if it if it would be too much easy everybody could have learned it and everybody can uh, get a job in it and AP, apn would uh, not have that value that is expected now so difficult things only pay you money so it's okay to uh, for things to be difficult it's just you just have to understand and decode them in your own way and uh, get proper mentorship uh, get guidance uh, talk to people uh, we have a telegram channel you can join our telegram channel you can post your doubts there there are people ready to help you there are a lot of people who are learning uh, using the discussions and using the guidance that we give collectively on the group we are in touch uh, like all the members who are there directly or indirectly they are in touch with me whatever the technical problems they are facing uh, we are uh, solving them at run time and uh, we all are having a good community where we discuss things it's all about apn so do have a look on the telegram channel beyond this uh, please like and share and subscribe to uh, this uh, channel because uh, like this is the only place where you can uh, have all your doubts cleared for apn i'm a senior apn developer and a consultant so this is all about uh, the technology other than apn i am trying to inculcate and uh, other cutting edge technologies also and soon i'll be bringing more things towards the content of this channel so stay tuned thank you